I want to discuss about a very important topic, which has to do with bloody stool. Most times, when farmers see bloody stool and the droppings of their beds, be it umbrellas, layers, or other poultry beds, the first thing they do is to administer procedures medication. But I will tell you that it's not all bloody stool that are associated with coccidiosis. On this video, I'm going to list some other indications that it's possible the dropping stool is not really coccidiosis. That does not mean that coccidiosis is out of it, but it could be some other infection. On this video, I'm going to list six factors that can make your bed to have bloody stool. And I'm going to take my time to explain them for you to get a better understanding. Please, if this is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and click the bell icon to get regular updates whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment, and most importantly, please and please share for others to benefit. Thanks. Bloody stool in grillers or poultry is a very serious warning and it is a sign that something is wrong and it has to do with the gut. In most times, it is often a symptom of coccidiosis, but I want to tell you in this video that there are other possible causes of it. Now, the point number one is that the major cause of bloody stool is one, coccidiosis, and this is the most common cause of bloody stool. You see the coccidiosis, there are of different species of um, coccidiosis. So the particular one that causes the bloody stool in poultry beds or umbrellas or layers, for instance, is caused by the Elmeria tenaria, and it's a parasite. What this Elmeria tenaria do is that it destroys the intestinal lining, which now leads to a kind of bright red or dark um, bloody droppings. And you will now discover that there is also weakness, rough foot feathers, and the dropping of the wings. And this spreads very fast, most especially through wet litter or dirty litters. So that is one. Then the second possible cause that your guests will be excreting bloody stool is when there is a bacterial infection. For instance, when you have uh, this um, bacteria that is called a clostridium, and it happens when there is overgrowth of this harmful bacteria, and this can inflame the gut. So when it, it, it inflames the gut, it now leads to bloody diarrhea, often with a kind of a foul smell. So this is quite different from coccidiosis. So if you are the type that is very sensitive to, to, to smell, you, you should be able to differentiate that of the bloody stool, which is caused by coccidiosis, and that which is caused by clostridium. When there's bacterial infections due to clostridium, there is usually, it, it usually occurs when there is poor hygiene, then when the feet are wet and you have a kind of moldy litters. So you now see that there is difference between bloody stool associated with coccidiosis and bloody stool associated with bacterial infection. The third point is poisoning. It could be in the form of the feed. For example, if you give your best mold feed, moldy feed or feed that contain toxins, for example, mycotoxins in bad feed can damage the internal organs. And once these internal organs are damaged, it now leads to bleeding and eventually you see the best excreting bloody droppings. Please, I believe we are getting a better understanding about the possible causes of bloody stool in your poultry. So when you see boring bloody stool, you don't, you don't have to rush them to go and get coccidiosis meds because you might be treating the wrong sickness or the wrong disease. But by the time you observe very well, you will be able to differentiate if it's actually a coccidiosis or a bacterial infection or a poisoning. But if you are getting any important information from this video, kindly help me to grow my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Turn on the bell icon so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up to encourage me to do more and share to others to benefit. The fourth point is the medication overdose. Yes, you had me right. When you overdose your beds, it could cause 
damage. For example, when you overuse or wrong dosage of anticocidial drugs or antibiotics can also damage the gut. And when the gut is damaged, it will lead to bleeding of the intestine. So you must see that these are different from coccidiosis. Then the fifth point is internal injuries. When your pets might have internal injuries such that you must see blood around the floor, you might think that it is coccidiosis if you are not very observant. And this will not make you to run to go and get coccidiosis medicine. But whereas it is not, it could be from rough handling, it could be as a result of fight between two beds, or it could also be that sharp objects around the cage caused the injury. And it may be a, a kind of external bleeding that it now eventually dropped on the stool, which my, you might not think that it is bloody stool. Then the sixth point is severe worm infestation. Though this point is very rare, but it do occur. When there is a rare, it is when there is a heavy worm infestation, you discover that there might be uh, bleeding around the intestine, which will not cause the the, the beds to excrete um, bloody stool. But this usually occurs in older beds, not those are the six points that can cause bloody stool in your beds. So the next question now is, how do you differentiate them? How do you know them? The first thing you have to do when you see bloody stool is to check the litter condition to see if the litters are wet or dirty or they are clumped up. So this will enable you to know. Then you should also check the bed's behavior, whether they are weak or they are sleepy or do they huddle together, or you discover that they are not eating. Then you check the history of your medication. If at all you give any drugs, whether you overdose the beds, then feed and water. You should check out if there is any contaminated materials in the feed or in your water. Then also check for other beds if they are showing more signs of similar symptoms. Then you should be able to know that this is what is causing the bloody stool. Now, when there is a bloody stool, what do you do? Immediately you notice it among the beds, just pick at that bed, isolate that bed, then clean the pen immediately, clean it thoroughly, and treat. If it's coccidiosis, treat with anticocidial medication. There are a lot of anticocidial medication that you can use. You can use ampolium, you can use um, sulfur drugs, and some other ones that are very effective. Then if it is bacterial infections, you use um, bacterial medication. Then another thing too that will help your bed is to give them electrolytes. So just get a mix of electrolyte and glucose, mix it with water and give to your bed. It will um, make them to come back to their, to the healthy status immediately. Then you can also offer probiotics or vitamin supplements to boost their immunity. I believe you've gotten a very good information from this video. Please subscribe if you haven't to encourage me to do more. Give this video a like, comment, and share for others to benefit. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out with love.